Hi, I'm Brian Wilson at Speaker Restaurant in Philadelphia. I'm going to show you how to make a thin crust pizza. Uh, what I have here is I have uh, pizza flour, which is double zero flour. Um, try to figure, try to find something that's not a cake flour or, or if you can find a bread flour. It's one kilo worth of uh, bread flour. And what I do is I add in my salt, which is one teaspoon. If you have a foot and mixer, it works the best. If not, you're gonna be kneading it all by hand, which is very difficult. Uh, I have the mixer set with a dough hook. Let's see as we get this on here. Um, what I want, like to do is once I put the salt in, just turn it on, get it mixed and incorporated before we add any of the dry ingredients. Uh, now the wet ingredients, I have 500 milliliters of water and this is uh, at room temperature, a little bit warmer. Milk, I use dry active yeast, and sugar. The sugar will react with the yeast to actually make it bloom and it gives something to feed on. You wanna let this bloom for a minute and then you can add it into your dough. Um, get your mixer going. You don't wanna dump all your water in at once. You wanna slowly add it in so it incorporates. You're gonna let this knead for five to 10 minutes. Um, you're gonna notice that it's gonna going to come to a ball and become very smooth and elasticy. Um, once it's like that, you can stop it and then we'll take it and turn it onto the table. So now that my dough has been kneaded uh, in the mixer, I, I removed it from the bowl and I put it onto my table. Once it's on the table, add a little bit of bench flour. So this way you can knead it by hand a little bit. Um, kneading it by hand, you're gonna actually create more of the glutens. It's a very simple process. You want to fold it in on itself and push out. So um, you really want to work it and make it uh, even more smooth than it was. Once, it, once you get it to the consistency that you desire, you'd like to cut it into roughly 200 gram balls or about seven ounces and fold them in on themselves. Once you fold them in on themselves, you're gonna have balls very similar to this and you're gonna wanna let these uh, rest in a refrigerator for 24 hours prior to using. Been rested for 24 hours in the refrigerator. I've removed it from the refrigerator and you're gonna start by pressing in the middle and working your way out, using your hands to, to spread it to the thickness that you would like. And then after this, you can top it however you please.